I grew up in violence, abuse. Uh, my parents were world-class uh, discouragers. I had no hope or plan or purpose, value. And um, I pretty much went through my first 19 years in that state. I was waiting to die. I was a walking dead man. I um, was at a crossroads. I, I didn't know that I was, but I was. My grandmother called me on the telephone on a Sunday morning, and I had never been in a church in my life, and she, she was pretty persistent. She's like that, my grandma, and she loves me, and I told her no, but she said, please, go to church with me, and I, I love you, and I want you there, and I agreed. Walked up to the front row because it was the only seat remaining. And as I sat down, I looked up and there was this painting and it just entranced me. I was captivated by it. It was a painting of a shepherd risking his life, hanging from a cliff to save a lamb that was in trouble and in danger of death. He was there to supply a rescue. And I, I just, I couldn't take my eyes off of it. So I didn't hear much of the sermon. But toward the end of the sermon, the pastor started talking about rescue and he started talking about the need to be uh, rescued from death and, and saved from despair and wondered if anybody needed that in their life and if they did to raise their hand. So I raised my hand, kind of involuntary. I, I don't know why I would have never normally done that. I wasn't pursuing God. To me, God and Jesus were just parts of swear words. And so for me to respond to that was extraordinary in my life. And so then he wanted to know, um, he came down to talk to me and he wanted to know if I wanted to change my life right then and receive Jesus and have him help me. And I said, yes. Again, something I could have never predicted. And my life changed. And I was so excited about that. And I went into my life in a totally different direction. Um, and things didn't get better. There were a lot of hills and a lot of valleys, but through it, I started learning that I did have a purpose. I did have hope and peace, and I did matter. And at that point, I realized that uh, it was important to have Jesus in my life. And now 50 years have passed. That was 50 Easter's ago. Uh, this could be your Easter. Uh, this could be your chance to reach out and say, yes, Jesus, I'm responding. I'm saying yes to you. Um, I, I hope it is. For me, um, this is uh, my 50th Easter. Uh, Jesus rose from the dead on Easter morning. And so did I.